Jerry Nance. Welcome to 8 Minutes Strong with Armor Bear. Today's the day the Lord made. It's a great day to be alive. It's a great day to be in this season of the church. God has placed you, called you, and anointed you for this time in the earth. So be encouraged today. Say something good is going to happen to me today. Expect the Lord to move. If you enjoy, of course, these videos, I say this every time, but we'd love for you to subscribe, send it to others. Encourage those who are connected with you in the local church. Get get these vi- videos and on YouTube and listen to them. They're, they're eight minutes. You can do it quickly. I and just encourage others because what it's going to do, it's going to empower them to fulfill the ministry. Everything flows through the heart of an armor bearer. Uh, you're never and and I can say this: you're never going to grow until you learn to serve. Uh, everything comes through the heart of the servant. And this is what the revelation of the armor bear is. It's all about servant. It's not about self-promotion. God promotes when he promotes, buddy, he does it. Uh, also, uh, get the books, uh, sow these into your heart and fulfill your ministry through the armor bear. And if you enjoy these and you desire for me to speak personally into your life monthly, I have a, a coaching and mentoring program. And so you can go to godsarmorbearer.com and you can get that information. Now, I've been talking to de- uh, really this week about what a pastor looks for in an armor bearer. And I am a pastor. I have a, uh, I have an apostolic anointing on my life, but you know, I serve for, for, uh, as a, as a, uh, I served as a youth pastor for three years and then I served as an associate pastor for 23 more years. So, uh, and I've been in ministry since I was 18. So I've been in ministry for 48 years. And I know right now, uh, my wife and I, honestly, we're excited about what God's doing. It's like a, a new rebirth just to, to see and to talk to people. Uh, the YouTube channel has just opened up all kind of doors across the United States, uh, with people that have been touched by our ministry. And I'm so thankful that you are a part. Now, as, as a, as a pastor, we need, uh, we, we need you to understand, even though you're a volunteer, that you're in the Lord's army. And the Bible tells us that whatever we do, we do it as unto the Lord. So if you're a nursery worker, if you, if you're out in the parking lot, if you're, if you're a door greeter, you're an usher, if you're in the sound department, you're in the music department, uh, you are needed. You're, you're needed, but you, you gotta carry that right spirit. You carry the spirit of an armor bearer so that you, uh, you keep your heart right and you're always looking to serve in a greater way. And there's gonna come, uh, there's gonna come times where you may feel like, man, I, I just don't feel that I'm appreciated enough. Uh, I work and, and God, and I just believe, uh, the church owes me something. <sighs> Please don't ever get to the place that you feel someone owes you something. Uh, because what you're doing, you're about to get, uh, deceived. No, no one owes you anything. You've got to know your pastor loves you. Now he may not pat you on the back all the time, but you have to know that the leadership that, uh, they love you and they're for you. Uh, and sometimes he may not see you for a month because you're in the children's department or you're in some other department. And, and, uh, but I, I, I will promise you he's in the auditorium at the end of the service or in the foyer at the beginning, whatever to greet and to talk and to thank you for coming. And, uh, if you need to, I mean, you need counseling, you can get a hold of the counselors, uh, in the, in the church, but just know that, that you you want his spirit. You want, uh, on his or her spirit, you want that anointing that's upon them. So know that you're working for Jesus and keep that always as in the center of your heart. Uh, I want, uh, I, as, as a, as a pastor, I want my armor bearers to strive for excellence. And, and I know that excellence sometimes can be a hard word for people, but you shoot for the very best. 
Uh, you may not achieve it, but if you don't strive for it, then you're going to settle for mediocrity. And that's a, that's a very strong word. Uh, you, you've got to under, if you don't go for the best, then you'll settle for mediocrity. So you have to, you have to do your part. God will do his part. But, you know, from an armor bearer, uh, I want, I want the best. Uh, I want them to care for their departments. I want them to, uh, take care of the church. I want them, uh, shooting for excellence. I, I want our mus- musicians, uh, you know, to have practice and to be ready and that everything's ready to go. And it's not a secondhand deal. And, uh, that, and when you walk into the church, if things, all the microphones, everything's ready, everything's been looked at, all the batteries, everything's placed in there. The most embarrassing thing in the world is to get up and have to change a mic and then change it again and stuff. And I've, I've had that. Thank God it, it wasn't in this church, our church, uh, because they, they, they do such a great job. But I have been in other churches where the mic went out. Well, it's because they put it, they, they didn't change the battery. And I know you say, well, pastor, you're just being too hard. No, that's not being hard. That is called excellence. Would you let Jesus's microphone go out because you decided, well, I don't need to check it? No, you wouldn't. And, and the, the man and the woman of God, they're up there. They're doing their best to, to pour out from their, their hearts, the word of God. And you have no clue what they're having to deal with in their own personal lives. And so you do your part to make and look for that anointing to flow through them. Hallelujah. I, I just right, right now, I just pray for a spirit of excellence and some, someone right now, uh, maybe you've been, and I really feel maybe there's been just an ounce or whatever of offense or like, you know, this is taking too long or, or this is seems like forever and you're being discouraged. And so you're, you maybe you're not treating your department the way it needs to be treated. Now, let me say this. God sees that. And so you have to, I'm going to be honest. You got to suck it up. You have to stand firm. Uh, we've all been there. I've been there where I am telling you I wanted to walk away. But God always said, well, what are you going to do? You can head or you can you can do your very best and do it for me. And that's when I said, okay, I'm doing it for you. Father, I release the anointing of God on everyone watching this. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for strength. And I thank you for excellence in their life, you shoot for the stars in your life. And God God will give it to you. He'll give you the moon, the stars, and the heaven. Oh, I love you. Something good's going to happen to you today. Say it, expect it, and just have a glorious day in Jesus' name.